Hello and welcome back. Steel Pinnings here once again. And I was uh I was playing around with some locks that I had gotten in the this one in particular. It's a really cool Medco. I had a broken key and uh I figured I have a replacement core altogether, I'd get the core out. This thing is jammed down in there. Normally you have to get the shackle out of it. Ugh. With a lug screw down in there, holds the shackle, and then you can dump out the two ball bearings, and then turn the key, and you should be able to dump out the last ball bearing from the the opposite side up here. Um, should drop and come around, and then this would pop off. Take out the key, push out the core, yada yada yada. Right? That thing's jammed. He's pissing me off. So, well, what else could I do that'll take the edge off? Right? And I figured I'd pick a lock. <laughs> and I thought I'd pick a tough one since I was in a tough position. And I picked up this Brava. It's been calling to me. It's going, hey, pick me. Pick me. <laughs> and this one is pinned up by our good buddy, Paul Springett from Australia. It's his number five called Screw Top. Got a Lockwood key. I like these keys. They look so cool. And there's the bidding on it. Down, 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 up, up, up. It's got a tiny little hangout. If you, yeah, it's not really a hangout. <laughs> Anyhow, I thought we'd try and pick it. So let's give it a shot, right? Okay. Tight like in a door. Step two. Oh, my God, hurry up, down, up, down, down, up. Okay. My fingerprints off of before the CSI people come, right? No reflection. And get myself comfortable. Because who wants to pick a lock when you're upside down or sideways? This is a 50,000 pry bar. I'm going to go top the keyway. Ticky, ticky, ticky. I'm going to use a homebrew DeForest. Pretty cool little uh, made to look um, old, I guess. Uh, pick handle. Mm -hmm. Works pretty good. I like it. So let's see if we can get anywhere with it. Let's get better lighting, right? There, that's better, huh? Yeah. Okay, binder on. Feels like three. Yep. See if it has a little more to give us. Yep. Come back to two. It's got a little something. I think I'm over here too. Let's go to the back. I did. I'm gonna let it down a little bit. There comes the air cutting on, so I'll apologize ahead of time. Got a nice fall set now. Counter on two. Let me get a different pick. I'm gonna try a standard hook. 
to the back of the lock there. See, it's giving me a little something back there, so. Eek. I think I gave a little something too much. Heavens! There we go. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. Zoom it out. Put this out. Put oh, that down there. Pen and train, come back. Okay. See if we can get this off of here, huh? the camera. Throw a shim in this thing. Good enough. Okay. Well, don't that about suck. We're gonna have a gut fail here, guys. Oh, I saved it. I killed that, um... Uh, killed that thing. Let's see if we got a better one, huh? Oh, boy. Wait, there's a the back of them. Yes. Isn't it great when you just look up and you're like, Ah, uh, what do I do, what do I do? And then you're like, aha. Uh -huh. That's what I need to do. Oh, God, no. Get hung up in that same spot right there. So, that's what's getting to me. I'm not so sure about. Okay. This is weird. Okay, we're gonna have to get the shim past that, or we're so double L'd. All right, without messing it up, we're gonna lock it. Here's the key. There we go. Now we get the shim. Let's see if it'll go in there. Still hanging up right there, huh? San Antonio. Try again. Well, it come out. So we're good there. And it's safe. Oh, shit, sorry. It's five pinned up five. He could have ran one on the edge, but Shoulda, coulda, woulda, right? He's done some work to it. Wow. Yeah, he's done some great pen work here. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. He's got a couple of these chambers wallowed. We give a little wibble wobble to him. Especially with those, that kind of work done to them there. I 
hate it when nothing wants to go right, you know? Sorry, guys. Holy crap! That's a little screw. No wonder he called it screw top, huh? <laughs> That's that beautiful Lockwood spool there. Gotta love them little short side spools. Got a jumping spring. Looks like all the springs are gonna be the same then. Another screw top. Another pretty one. Last but not least. Good night. That's a cool looking screw top there. I like that. Get that gum thing out of there. No wonder, huh? Nothing down to the top. No. Beautiful lock. It's gonna get a good close up on it, huh? It's done some great work on these bottom pins too. Sorry about all that. Whoops. Son of a gun. Where is he at? There she is. She's got a little nipple to it, too. That's what she said. Gotta love these Lockwood spools. So perfect. Little screw tops. Great job on those. I really dig this one, though. That's a piece of machinery there. That's so cool. Gotta love it. Great job again, Paul. Thank you so much for getting it my way. Y'all, please stay safe and always stay legit. If you like this video and like what I do here, hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Until we meet again, peace.